So how y'all doing out there? This is Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl over here at SWRC. And we're actually headed toward Phoenix, Arizona. Now this is our continuing series on modular mobile <laughs> homes. And um, I don't have my camera uh, stand for my truck. We're actually in Minnie's Jeep. But we're coming back from uh, Moab, Utah. Uh, we're actually in the process of building our shop and then we're going to get our house so anyway um, We've been to a lot of modular homes a lot of mobile homes and We're not really going out there to actually buy a home from these people We're going out there to look at the different style floor plans and to also look at the quality uh, of the manufacturer that's building the homes so you can see we're on the open highways of Arizona we're traveling down the road, enjoying the scenery, coming up to Flagstaff, and once we go through them mountains over there that you're looking at, we're gonna be down the road to Phoenix, Arizona, actually to Chandler, Arizona, to check out some new modular homes and show you, the viewer, a little action of what you might run into when searching and seizing for one of these homes they call modulars or mobiles. Now I want everybody to manufactured, manufactured homes. There you go. <laughs> that pretty much rounds it up for the whole nine yards. Yeah. Now always remember that a mobile home is basically called a park model and a, a modular is basically in the category of basically saying manufactured. Um, they're all manufactured but they got their own little specific names for the yeah, so, there. some so, you keep the wheels on them, and some you, and then permanently, some you mount permanently mount them. So the one that we're really looking for, we're looking for the permanently mounted ones, right? And those are the ones that are basically called modulars. We'll see you over at Chandler, Arizona, when we get there, and hopefully we're going to look at some exciting homes made by Cavco. Uh, he said he had what 13, 20, 13, 13 models. models. And we might even go in and look at some park models while we're there. Just to Just look. to check them out. I mean, we did find some pretty cool ones over at Karsten. Uh -huh. So we'll go ahead and check these out too. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, many of the body shop girl. Traveling around the United States, uh, specifically the southern part of the United States. No, not southern. This would be the southwest. Southwest. So if you're in the southwest area of the United States and you're looking for a mobile or modular home, check out all our other videos we posted on this and hopefully we're helping you make decisions that are hard to make all right we just got here to Cavco Homes. Uh, it's actually called the Home Outlet Manufacturer Home Specialist Wholesale Pricing. So we found this one model right here. Let's see what we got. And many wanted to go in it just for fun, just to see what's going on with it. Uh, this is a unique park model. Let's go check it out, see what it is. I've seen a bunch of these in Moab. Have you? Uh huh. Like, like this with the two story job? Uh huh. huh. Yeah. There's like four of them. All right in a wow. Window. Now, I like all the windows on the front. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're but, nightly rentals, of course. Yeah. But. All right, well, let's go. So, the first thing you see is a sliding glass door entrance. And we're going to walk up in here. And there you go. It was pretty wow. roomy in there, actually. Yeah. So. Look at this. Mm hmm. Built-in stereo. Got a nice built-in stereo system. Probably your TV would go right there as well. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little corner sized kitchen. Um, I see it does have an upstairs, but I don't think I'd be able to stand up there. I don't even know how do you get up there. Is there a over staircase? Here. Or? Over here. Huh. Full-size refrigerator, mind you. Full-size stove. Microwave. Wow. Wow, this is a really bathroom. Regular size bathroom. Uh-huh. Huh. Got a little shower stall, no bathtub in this one. The quality's pretty nice. Um, the corners of the sheetrock really look good in this. 
and there's no vinyl. It's all sheetrock. Look at the bedroom. It kind of reminds me of a motorhome bedroom, like a pull behind travel trailer. Long closet. Yeah, it's kind of like a. This model here kind of reminds me of a, a jumbo size uh, RV. RV that you would well, pull behind. That is actually, you know, this is one that you uh, don't take the wheels off of. So you're saying you can actually pull this wherever you well, want? I no, don't know about all that. No, 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 but it can be huh. moved from one location to the other. I mean, yeah, it kind of resembles me, like, I mean, look how they got their little, you know, nice built-in nightstands going on here with their cabinets on top. My personal opinion, I, would, I couldn't live here. It just reminds me too much of a travel trailer RV situation. Yeah. Exit. Extra storage. Little storage behind the stairs. Under the stairs. Yep. And I still like to say that I do like the sheetrock work. Real nice. Um, everything seems solid. Insulated walls. It's got linoleum flooring. This is not... This is a roll-out linoleum flooring that we're looking at here. Don't be fooled when you look at these things. Uh, some of them are made so good that it looks like it's uh, tile, but it's not. So this is linoleum roll-out flooring. What's upstairs? Did you go up there and check it out? Yeah, it's like only about four foot tall, but I want you... This is not sheetrock. What is it? I don't know. If you go to the top of the top of the so you're saying hold on a minute. The top of this wall, the, the this paint, is not sheetrock. The paint has peeled off, and you can see it looks huh. like plastic underneath. Are you joking me? No. Walk up there. Walk up there. Let me see and look. Okay, so it's got plastic cornering on. This is all a plastic cap right here. Um, that's telling me that I don't know if that's sheetrock or not. Now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Um, as we stand up here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a very small room. As you can see, the room up here is very, very small. It's probably only good for something like maybe put the kids up here. They can have a little playroom. Or possibly if you had somebody spend the night, they can probably roll around and sleep on the floor with their sleeping bags. Do we got any prices in here on this thing? Or? I was just going to look that piece of paper. No, no prices. So nobody gives us a price on this, huh? No. Huh. Well, no, my don't. opinion about this little model, I couldn't, I couldn't live in it. It's a no-no for me. Let's see what kind of cabinetry they're using just while we're here. Cabinets look solid, Minnie. Yeah. Look at the uh, shelving brackets that they're using. That's pretty cool. Oh, fully adjustable. Fully adjustable shelves. Let's see if this one's... Yeah, this one's the same way. I do like the cabinetry. That's nice. The cabinets in them are really nice. The hinges are solid. So that's a plus. Okay, we're going to head over to the next one and see where we're at. We're actually looking at the double wide floor plans. And if we get a chance like we just did just now, we're going to walk in a couple of these and check them out. All right, so this one we're going to look at next is a 28 by 48. It's a three bedroom, two bath. 1,280 square foot. It's called the Layton, made by Cavco. Let's I like the outside check it of out. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty high quality. It's got uh, two-tone um, masonite. They're using masonite board, and of course, the paint looks pretty nice. Um, I do like this here. Look at the vented eaves. See how the eaves are vented, so air will uh, circulate. All the That's pretty nice. Through. So that's a pretty nice uh, accommodation there. We're going to talk about the windows again. We don't know what kind of insulation are. I will say that these are vinyl windows. These are not aluminum frame. So being out here in this uh, environment, I don't know what would happen. Let's go look at it. Big, wide open uh, living area. I like the way this coffered ceiling or whatever it is comes up in here. Uh, makes the room feel bigger. Yeah, this is an open living uh, type place that you're going to find for a modular home. Open living, modular home, living right here. Are you living? It's not my living. I'm, I'm kind of speechless because I really don't want to be in here. This isn't, you know, my style. Uh, okay, let's go. I just want to come in. I didn't know it was going to be open living. It's got linoleum tops on it. 
All right. Um, let's see what kind of cabinetry. Something, something to consider, though, on these cabinets that are are laminated, you can go ahead and get them the way they come, which is cheaper. And then when they start messing up, that's when you hit husband up to upgrade you to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure thing. Let's go look at these rooms here. I thought they said it was a two bedroom. Is this a? I will say this: this second bedroom is very large. I'm actually really surprised to see how big this room is. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a little smaller. The uh, slanted ceilings here really make the rooms look a lot bigger, so I like that. You can see the you can see how tall it is. We got a seven foot door right here, and then that ceiling's way up there. That's probably ten feet. Huh. This is a big. This is a big bedroom. bedroom second bedroom. And this is it this ain't well, bad either. It's also probably a ten by yeah. eleven. Mm -hmm. Now is this a two bedroom or uh, two bathroom? Two bathroom. Two bath. Huh? Two bath. Okay. You got a full bath over here. Really looks nice. Uh, here's a crack. Here's something that you want to pay attention to. I've showed everybody this before. You want to watch for gaps in the woodwork. And I believe this is actually real wood here. This is not vinyl or plastic. And you want to watch for cracks in the wall. So. Which, of course, they're, all, they're supposed to go through. And, and this is a sheetrock wall, by the way. So The master has a great size mm -hmm. closet and wow. a good size bathroom. Yep. Uh -huh. But I this would, bedroom here is kind of about as big as that other bedroom. It may be just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Now, the bathroom in this little 1,280 square foot ain't bad. Look how nice the bathroom is in here. It's uh -huh. pretty roomy. It's got double sinks, a toilet, it's got a walk-in shower with a seat. Got a lot I know that's something you like. I know, I took a picture of the shower. Yeah, you like those seats so when you sit down. That's actually a really nice shower. Look how tall the shower head is up there. Yeah, that would work for you. Yeah. Right? You ready to see the next one? Let's go. All right, here's a pretty big model. It's called the Pembroke. It's a 32 by 75 bedroom. I'm going to say that again, five bedroom, three bath. 2,187 square feet. It sounds big, but I bet the bedrooms Sounds small. big, but yeah. yeah. Uh, five bedrooms in a, mo a mobile home or modular home. They're going to uh, be small, right? Let's go check it out. Yes, yeah, open living, but yeah, look but how big and grand I understand it is. that, but I mean, still that open living. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Look, yeah. I like those three uh, windows up there. Uh huh. I believe you can open them. No, those no, aren't open. Okay? No. For Bruce Those are not openable windows. I do. But you know, look at the living area. It's kind of small. That's telling me that this house is all bedrooms. Yeah. There's not now. Yeah. If you had, if you had, let's say, you had a husband, wife, and four kids living in here. That's a lot of people in this house. But you see, if you, you bring this couch back here. Right. I understand that, but I'm looking at the know. square footage in here. I still don't like the. The, the room just doesn't look big enough for all the people for a five bedroom house. Let's go look at these bedrooms. I'm kind of right, curious. Which, which way you want to go? I guess this way here. All right, let's see. Walking down, here's two bedrooms. Let's see what we got. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let's look at that bath, the second bath. This is a three bathroom? I don't know. I think it is. No, I think it's just two. No, it said five bedroom, three bath. Oh, well, there, huh. there's one bath right there. So here's one bath, your typical... Uh, Shared bathroom if you have multi uh, bathroom uh, bedrooms. Now that looks window pretty nice. Open. That window opens over there. This is big. It's a pretty big bedroom. And this is this the master? This ain't the master. Not the master, huh. but it's a big. Bedroom. And I like. I still like the way that the ceilings are uh -huh. angled. It makes the place look bigger. It really you know? does. So there's one bedroom, one big bedroom. Jeez, and, and then look at. Oh my goodness. This okay. Is another big. Look how big the room is. Big I mean, it's, bedroom here. actually, I'll be honest with you. Capco does have a lot of square footage on bedrooms. And I like this hall, this little hallway area. Kind of little cubicle area that uh -huh. you walk around and all. Got a nice closet there oh, for your closet. coats. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's this and, room over here? Uh, this is your utility room. Okay. Washer, huh. dryer, and uh, maybe a utility sink or really? a deep freeze. Yeah, there you go. That's probably for a deep freeze or a refrigerator. You got your door, outside door right here. Yeah, and then swing into wow. the uh, kitchen. Look at this opening they put up here. That really looks nice. Uh-huh. 
that will... I'd like to say something else. Outside, the temperature is outside is 113 degrees. Yes, it's very... And they don't have any air conditioning on in these places. They don't have no electricity running in these places. And it feels like it's about 80 degrees in here. Yeah, That's it is That's telling warm. me that the insulation is pretty good. It is warm, but it's not 130 or 40 like it should be, considering yeah. it's 100. It's not an oven. Outside. So you walk out of the uh, utility room right into the kitchen, and you got a nice big open kitchen here with a uh, dinette set area for your breakfast bar or whatever you're going to eat on. And uh, sliding glass door. Look at that, double wide. Whirlpool, of course. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. And you got the, uh, what do they call this here, Manny? Glass top. Glass top. Smooth top. Yeah, smooth so top. Right, right. So everything's Whirlpool in here. I still don't like this uh, living capacity here. I think that it's just too small for as many people that this house will hold. What's up? Skylight. There you go. That's cool. Okay, here you go. This is the master. It's got double wide doors on this model. You walk into the master, it gives you a lot of open oh, feeling living. Look how big it is in here. All right, look at that open uh, area. I guess that would be a closet, huh? Inside there. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Real high ceilings. I like the high ceilings. Every house we've been in has been sheetrock. This is all sheetrock home. Wow, look at this bathroom. This look is how. It's really huge. Got his but do you really need this big of a bathroom to walk around in? I mean, look at it. Some people do. It's just, you know, humongous floor space. I, I think the floor space is kind of wasted. It yeah. does have the closed in. The closed in toilet. With. A window. That opens. That you need. <laughs> you yeah. need that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Roses. Huh? Wow. Roses. And I'll bet you we got another bathroom here. That makes three bathrooms in this place. Okay, my opinion on this big giant uh, Cavco model. Not enough living space. Too much bedroom space. Doesn't look like you're going to have a lot of uh, family ventures of uh, intertwining with each other. It's more like I'm going to go to my bedroom. You go to your bedroom. That's your space. Stay there. Don't come out. Unless you want something to eat or you got to go to the bathroom type situation. I don't think it's quite that extreme, but I see what you're saying. Two living areas would be awful nice. In a house like this with five bedrooms, you're talking a big family. This is not big family living. Sorry. Yeah. But it looks real nice. Okay, here's a Cavco model. It's called a Kenton 2856, three bedroom, two bath. 1493 that's almost might as well say 1500 square foot and I don't know about this one I don't see a lot of windows on it for one I don't like the uh, solo color going on I I'd rather have two-tone action let's go ahead and look at it Minnie's already in there let's see what we got what's up what are you thinking I like this you like one. this one it's Oh wow, look at this. The bat the kitchen and everything rolls around that way. It's still open, huh. but yet the it's kind of like semi open. Kind of out of, out of your yeah. Like um the bed. living space in here is actually a pretty good size for the size house we're looking at. Yeah, because this is wow. a three bedroom, two bath. So this is a three bedroom, two bath. So what do we got over here? What's this? Uh, let me guess. I presume that's the master bath. The master's on this side. Yeah, typical. What's it? Have you already been in there? I have. Let's check it. So what are you talking? You're I like smiling. It. I am. I wow. like it. Oh I my like God, it. look at this. It's huh. got this big closet in here. Jeez. And it's got the bathroom in here. It's not a giant bathroom, but it's a pretty good it's size. It's not giant. Hold on. It's Let me plenty big enough. Let's There's see. No Let's hold on a minute. Let me come over there and look. There's no waste. Yeah, space this is a nice there. size bathroom here. It's even got you also got another closet for your towels uh, and linens. Yes. Huh. Uh huh. So the bathroom's pretty nice size. I like yeah, it. You still have your two sinks. Right. So this is like a sitting area in your bedroom. In your huh. bedroom. Jeez. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And this is just the master bath bed. Mm -hmm. This is the master bed. Wow. So this would be like a nice little sitting area. Maybe possibly put your books here, your library books. Huh? All your shelving would go up here for all your books. That'd be awesome. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yeah. Then I like this. Access to, I'm sure if you wanted, you could actually just block that off. Yeah. But I because think, I kind of like with, the doorway though. With all my books, I might need the wall space. I kind of like that door. Yeah. Or we could do huh. an arch. Gives it that open feeling, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. 
And then look at this kitchen. I really like the way this layout is in this one. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, I'm telling you, this is, out of the models we've already looked at, this is the one I like the best. So far, so good. This is And you know, the, the thing that I'm looking at is the quality of the house. Um, the quality that I found on these Cavcos is actually pretty nice. I haven't found any defaults anywhere. Um, the cabinets are, I mean, to me, are high quality. They're not like, you know, top-notch million-dollar cabinets. Um, I'm really not interested in the linoleum, but uh, it looks like it's been put down very well. And it looks like it's nice and strong. Um, I like the window over the sink, of course. Got a lot of windows over here. And then, of course, you got your uh, utility room back in here. This is nice. Yeah. With the back door, of course. This ain't a giant house, but for two people, possibly, you know, one kid, I think it's awesome. 1,493 square foot. 1,500 square feet. You can't beat it. Um, it doesn't have the double wide refrigerator because we don't have five bedrooms and we don't have 67 kids here. But you know what? Look how wide, look how much space there is right here. Right, so you, you can, can put the double can, wide. You can upgrade and get a bigger exactly. one. Exactly. Huh. You know, and I actually I, like this. Another thing too, I mean, I, we're thinking because it's just me and Pete, we'll be doing our eating right there and you can not get a dining table and and just have and, this part of your living area yeah exactly put more seating over here exactly which is probably what we would do because or we put some need... french doors over there possibly or possibly a sliding glass door to go out on a back patio there you go because yeah. they can modify that's right um we're looking at eight and a half ceilings here in this one um it doesn't have any arch ceilings or slope ceilings this is all flat ceilings in this, it's also got, yes, I see you pointing. Crown molding. Crown molding, and it's also got the skylight. Um, am I a big fan of skylights? Not really. Um, I'm a believer that eventually, sooner or later, the skylight will start leaking, so and you I'm not really a fan of skylights. We can always tell them to leave it out. Exactly. I like this. This doesn't, this gives it the feel of a home. See how it goes down the hall? And it's got that curved wall that goes around. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's something I do like. Mm -hmm. So, what's your opinion on this uh, home I, model? I like the layout of this one. You like the layout of this I one? I do, do, do. I like. I it. think out of all the ones we've looked at so far, this is the one I like the most. Uh -huh. What was the name of this one? The Canton. Canton. We're gonna gonna have to write that down. Now, once again, the living space in these, I'm really not impressed with. I think the living space is just a little too small and they could get a little bigger on the living space but this one actually fits this house because you got this big master bedroom this is this model to me is designed for a married couple with possibly one kid or no kids at all maybe an older couple like me and Minnie that might have grandkids that would come visit yes so I think this would be a perfect size and I like the way that this kitchen just looks this way it's wrapped around the corner but on the other hand it's got like a little island here you see what I'm saying so the Keaton model is one of my number one picks so far let's go look yeah. at some more it's getting hot something else I like look at this oh cabinets on both sides wow look I at like that. that I like that that's pretty good we could probably you can probably get glass doors yeah. upgrade glass doors would be pretty cool yeah that would make it even look bigger I like this model all right all right, so here's a Cavco uh, front porch, porch model, and let's go ahead and see what kind of action Cavco's giving us on the porch model edition. This one's called Quail Creek. It's a 28 by 60, three bedroom, two baths, 1,600 square feet. Let's check it out. Cool. Mobile home excitement here. You got the pitched roof. You can tell that it's double wide. Yeah. Big giant open living space, pretty small if you ask me. Got the big kitchen area with this dinette, just one big giant room, one and your room. hallway full of bedrooms. No frills, nothing fancy. Um, does this have a master bath? I guess it does. Yeah. yeah. So this is basically your no frills, no nothing fancy type front porch model home like everybody else. The thing I noticed about Cavco, um, all the houses I've seen are sheetrock. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
that's one good thing they got going for them. Anyway, this is going to conclude our tour of Cavco homes. They actually have more models out there, but uh, you got to basically get the idea. What's your opinion about Cavco? Straight out forward, what's going on? Uh, I like the quality of them. They're they're just every bit as nice as. Uh -huh. uh, any of the others that we've seen. Well, I take, I pardon to differ with you. I don't think it's as nice as a Karsten. Well. I think it's like a little bit upgrade from a Palm Harbor. Yeah, it's in between. I wouldn't buy one. The two. Would you? No. This, well, the Kenton's pretty nice though. The Kenton is, the Kenton is the, the Kenton. nicest one, but yeah. as far as I'm concerned, this is, these are all average Joe, typical floor plan, uh, modular homes. Um, they do look nice. The cabinet quality is nice. I like that. They use high quality brand name appliances and everything sheetrock. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, Minnie the Body Shop Girl. And we have now got to say goodbye and we will see you on the road somewhere else in America looking at modular homes and giving you our opinion on what we think. Take it easy and good luck on your modular home searching. Cavco Homes is uh, an affiliate with Palm Harbor. I believe the Cavco division is probably an upgraded division because their homes are built a lot nicer, uh, more durable, and we don't even know how much the prices are because they don't even advertise prices. So we'll see you later. Take it easy and join us again.